Welcome back everyone, my name is Nick, we're on the ZX Spectrum 48K and we're going on a bit of a text typing adventure with The Hobbit. Now this game was published by Melbourne House in 1982 and has gone down as a bit of a classic based of course on the novel by J.R.R. Tolkien in 1937 uh, following the exploits of the protagonist who you play uh, Bilbo Baggins from Middle Earth and to cut a long story short you must get treasure from some dragon and place it back in the chest in your Hobbit hole where you start off in the first place. And here we are. So it's all about typing stuff in. I never completed this back in the day. And you might have seen it first of all with that film directed by Peter Jackson in 2012, if you're quite young. Right, so here we go. It explains the room. It tells you what's in there. Now, by typing stuff in, you hopefully can complete the game. So you probably um, have completed this. You've got a solution. So I'll look at the map that Gandalf has given me. Oh, dear. Um, examine map. No. It helps you type stuff in properly here. I don't know any cheats for this, we're just down to me typing stuff in. Examine map, right? Uh, there's symbols on it, but I can't read them. Gandalf opens the ground green door. Now he's the mighty wizard, we've got Thorin the dwarf with us. I'll say hello to Thorin, see if we can get any clues. Yeah, I seem to remember when I played this back in the day, which wasn't a lot, I had to get to some clearing with trolls in and make sure it was like daylight. Maybe Thorin can, no, maybe Thorin can carry me there. Um, there's lots of characters in this to interact with. You don't really want to pick a fight with Thorin because he'll probably um, kill you quite quickly. I'll talk to him, see what he has to say. Thorin sits down and starts singing about gold. Well, maybe I should start singing about gold as well. Sing. I sing. Time passes. Yes. So it's always a struggle to make uh, text adventure games like this um, exciting in a review, assuming open the chairs. No. So that's why I haven't done too many of them. But Hobbit is a big one. You might have noticed I tried to fart then when I was talking. That didn't work. Um, right. We're singing about gold again. I think really we need to get out of the Hobbit hole. We need to get out of here. I think Gandalf the Mighty Wizard has long gone before I've started saying things like fart. He's disappeared on an adventure, but he's forgotten to take me with him. Um, right. Where's Gandalf gone, Foran? Let's go east. Right, I'm east, right? So this is good. I um, reviewed previously Muggsy, which draws the things very similar to this, but this was prior to that, so that they may have used the same engine there. 1982, and jolly impressive for 1982 compared to what else was available. So as a kid, you would have got lost up in this game quite a lot. I seem to remember as well as a kid being killed by some bulbous eyes somewhere. But it's all about knowing where to go. Is so east, north, or northwest? Um, foreign enters. Hello, foreign. Where shall we go? Hmm. As I said, if you have completed this game, let me know. Where is the mighty wizard? Oh, right. It's all about also learning, because it doesn't come with instructions on what words are accepted and what's are not. So a lot of this game was like working out what um, words this, uh, this text adventure would recognise. Right, okay, so we're in the clearing. I think there might be trolls here. It's dangerous to go here at night, I think. You're in the troll's clearing. Press enter. She'll give me some more stuff. You see the hideous troll. The troll is carrying the large key, which we need. The vicious troll. And there's a vicious troll as well. Gandalf enters. Well, he's back. Great. The trolls want to eat us, so it's probably a good idea we get out of here quite quickly. Gandalf, Thorin and me would get killed. So uh, it might help if you actually read the novel. I'm not sure about that, but I seem to remember there's more people on the journey. But I might be getting this mixed up with The Lord of the Rings. Southeast. Right, I go southeast. I'm in Rivendell. That's where elves are. You see Elrond. Good. Hello, Elrond. Hello. Hello, Elrond. Elroth. Oh, man, you've got to delete the whole thing. There's no backspace. Elrond. Hello. Elrond. It was an electricity company. He says hello. Gandalf says hurry up. Um, yeah. Jump. Crisscross to make you. There's nothing to jump. Oh, right. So, see, so we've learned something else there. Jump is an actual command. There was nothing to jump onto. Talk to Gandalf. Come on, Gandalf. Gandalf says no. Of course, he's not very talkative, is he? Then he goes east. Basically, he tells me to shut up. Er See, Elrond's got the right idea. He's given me some nice lunch. I'll take that with me. Maybe eat it a bit later. Maybe I'll eat it now. Right, we're on a dangerous path in the Misty Mountains. No graphics at the moment. Day's dawning. Eat. Eat some lunch. Right. 
Um, eating lunch is probably fruitless because you've got no energy levels in this or stamina that goes up and down, none that you can visibly see anyway. You can abbreviate the direction, so N for north. Right. See, Gandalf isn't really explaining what I need to do here. All we know is we must find a dragon uh, and steal treasure from it and play, uh, place it in the chest, which, which we saw back at home base. Hmm. I think a lot of kids might have got stuck on this at some point, but it would have eaten up a lot of time because compared to what else was available in 1982, you probably had just those choose your own adventure books, if you remember those. Turn to page 68 if you want to go east, turn to page 12 if you want to go west, something like that. So this is that in the computer 8-bit form, and I, I'm pretty much lost. I don't know where I'm going now. I'm on a narrow path. I'm hoping to fluke a direction, but ideally, I wanted to go back to that trolls clearing in the in the daytime because uh, the trolls turn into into stone in the daytime, and then we can just pick up that key which we need for something else to get through some other door, some goblin door or something. I don't know where goblins are in this. You can follow people if you want to. Right, west. I see nothing. Well, maybe I need a new pair of glasses. North, follow Gandalf. Or for, for in what? No, right, okay. Follow foreign. Follow him. Why not? Why can't we follow him? Curses. Follow a goblin then. Which goblin? Oh, right. Now, this is when there's lots of different goblins in the game with different um, keys assigned. And there is a hideous goblin somewhere. There's an ugly goblin, a hideous goblin, and various other ones. Sometimes you can fluke a correct direction by following someone that might be nearby. But not this. Oh, good, right. Graphics. It's filling those in quite nicely. Seems to have missed the line. Now it's filled it in. We're on a red path, red like my blood, I think. Uh, so that's probably not a good idea. Right, a, dr drop, a dreadful drop into a dim valley. I don't know what this IQ's got to do with it, but anyway, maybe if you do an echo, it gets the echo wrong. For an end, as you go east, you're on a, still on a narrow, dangerous path. Yeah, oh, you see, all right, okay, we come to our house, Bruin's house, you see a heavy curtain. We could probably open that, couldn't we? We should open the curtain, but it's quite heavy. Um, maybe we won't do weightlifting. Uh, open it. You open the heavy curtain. Behind the curtain is a wall. In the wall there is a large cupboard. Well, we've got to open that as well. Foreign, what's the rush, man? We've got ages for this. Open cupboard. In the cupboard there is some... Oh, no. That's not very exciting. I was expecting, like, a key or a potion or an axe. I'll take the food anyway. A wood elf enters. He's bound to be friendly. Let's say hello, wood elf. Talk to wood elf. Hello! He captures you and puts you in his Elven King Hall dungeon. Great, that's great that, isn't it? Now it's all gone black. I think it's all gone a bit wrong now. To the southwest there is a red door, to the west there is a red door. Two red doors. You see nothing, it is dark. Someone closes the red door. Well, I need to get through the red door, to be honest with you. I need to get out of here, I need to get out of the dungeon. West, you go somewhere, but alright, oh, it's so dark, I don't know where I'm going. Someone locks the red door. Oh, I think I've missed my chance to get out here. Shout. Shout. Let it all out. These are the things we can do without. Come on. Open. Oh, no. I, I think I might have to exit here. I think if you type, I think if you tiger uh, exit, uh, you might be able to start again. But I think we might be in bother here. This is like game over to me. Wait. Sleep. Sleep. I think you can type help for a clue every now and again. Let's do that. Wait around and time your exit kept right. Okay, so if we wait a bit and we sleep a bit, then something an answer might present itself. We can but hope. Wait, wait, wait. How long have we got to wait for? Not five days. This review can't go on that long. Right, someone unlocks the red door with a red key now. How do we get out? Run. Is that not going to work? Go, go. No, how am I going to word this? Open door. Exit. I do not know the word exit. Well, that's not my fault. You should learn it. Get a dictionary. Open the door. What? Oh, no. It's not remembering anything. Um, I think I might have to restart again, folks. I'm stuck in my own own sort of like, uh, well, thing of my own making. I hit the door. Someone opens the red door. Right. It must be light in the room now, surely. No, I don't need to wait anymore. East. It's still dark. Oh, now they've closed the door. I've missed my opportunity. Now, if you're looking at this, screaming, 
what should I have done there? If you found yourself in this situation in this game, what should I have typed in to get out the dark room when someone opens the red door? But anyway, I've mastered 7.5% of this adventure, which is probably a lot higher than uh, some of my other reviews. So that's good. Right, let's approach this differently this time. Let's not let Gandalf out of our sight and follow him, the mighty wizard, because he knows what he's doing, that bloke. He knows what he's doing. Kill Florin, that's a good stud. Uh, you attack Florin, but the effort is wasted. His defence is too strong. Gandalf opens the door. Florin attacks you with one place blow. Florin cleavers your skull. You are dead. You could melt 0%. See, I told you, don't attack Florin. That would have been a very short book and a very short film. Never starting story. Yeah, right, okay, so that's what happens if you attack Thorin, so don't do that. And I imagine something very similar happens if you attack Gandalf. You see the chest in the middle of the room? That's where we must get the dragon's treasure, in there. Hopefully it fits, or we might have to get a different uh, thing. Can't go east, that's because the door's not open. A curious map? Hmm. So I don't think, I don't think we'll be meeting Gollum, or any of those other people. It's a very short, ridiculous adventure. As I say, back in the day, I made it a little way. I think um, the first I got was being killed by some bulbous eyes looking over me, or in some sort of like goblin temple or something. But I didn't. I never met the dragon. I never met him, which is a shame. Smeag or Smaug. I think we would have had a good time. Now this is an omission. I, although I've read The Hobbit, the novel, although I've read Lord of the Rings, uh, that book, I've never watched the films all the way through. Is it worth it? Is it worth me doing that? They seem to go on too long. I've watched bits of them, but not all of them. Do I need to catch up? I believe at time of recording they're working on a um, uh, Lord of the Rings TV series uh, based on the uh, locations, I guess. Right, back to tro Troll Town with their nice red floor. Right, hideous troll. Right, key. Okay. So I think if we go, we go out the area, wait a bit, then go back in again. I think we might be okay. We can, but hope, can't we? We can, but hope. Southwest, you can't go south. Right, going up close the green door, Thorin enters. We're in the Lone Lands now. You go east, the trolls clearing. Oh, I'm back to the trolls. The, the hideous troll eats you. That's not great, is it? His foul gluttony has killed the. Oh, has killed him. All right, well, at least he choked to death on me. You are dead. You've mastered two and a half percent of this amazing adventure. Yeah, okay. Right, well, what can we say about that? Um, not, no, no, not too much. We didn't get very far there. And uh, there we go. Well, I hope you liked having a look at that game. I, I quite liked it. It was a lot to do, and I am getting a bit of a nostalgia buzz, although I was never very good at it. So that was uh, The Hobbit on the ZX Spectrum, published by Melbourne House in 1982. Uh, a nice warm game. If you've got any comments about this one, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. You're always more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself, and a very fond... Goodbye. Goodbye.